I converted to Islam in 2011. My son is a Christian evangelist. Every day he tries to convince me to adopt Jesus as God in flesh. I stay calm and tell him that only God for us is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and decides about our belief if we are patient and thankful. Is there another way? Allah bless you, my brother. We have brother Yasin from Luxembourg, who I believe was a Christian, reverted to Islam, and his son is a Christian evangelist. And he keeps on pestering his father that why don't you accept Jesus, peace be upon him, as God in flesh? And he gives the reply that the only one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and his last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Is there any other way you can convince him? Yes. The best master key for Dawah is Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64, where Allah says, Qul ya hila kitab O people of the book, Ta'alo ila kalimatin sawa im bainan wa bainakum. Come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushrika bhi shayyo. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yattakhiza baadun baadun arbaabun mundin illah. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. If they turn back, فَقُلُ شَدُّ We are not Muslim. We are Muslims bowing our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, in this verse we come to know that the best way to speak to a non-Muslim is تَعَلَوْا إِلَىٰ قَلِيمَةٍ سَوَاءٍ بَيْنَ رَمَيْنَكُمْ Come to common terms as been asked you. So, my request, you can see my talk on similarities between Islam and Christianity. You can see my talk on Is Jesus God? Where I have told that you can tell your son that Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the death permission. He gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. The Muslim and the Christian, they are going together. And where is the parting of faith? The parting of faith is that most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. But if you read the Bible, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, my father is greater than I. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says. It's further mentioned in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number this is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29. My father is greater than all. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28. I cast out devil with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my father. So anyone who says I seek not my will, but the will of the father, is a Muslim. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is a Muslim. It's further mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 to 18. It says, ye men of Israel, listen to this. It says that, uh, think not, this is the words of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. In Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 to 20. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophet. I have come not to destroy but to fulfill. For whosoever that not one jot or tittle shall pass away from the law until all be fulfilled. For whosoever shall keep the commandment will be called gain in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall teach men not to do so and they will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And the verse continues that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter paradise. So here Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, saying that if you want to enter paradise, you have to keep the commandments. Follow all the commandments in the scripture. 
And if you do that, inshallah, you shall enter Jannah. So in this way, you can convince your son. Further, it is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 24. It says that the words that you hear, Jesus Christ, peace be upon you, saying that the words that you hear are not mine, but my fathers who have sent me. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 17. Verse number 14, that this is life eternal. Jesus has peace be upon you saying, this is life eternal so that you may know that there is one God and Jesus Christ from the harvest sent. So all these verses clearly indicate that Jesus Christ, peace be upon you, was a messenger of God. He was a man, he was a prophet, but what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him is, he is not Almighty God. So you can very well convince your son, you can give him my talk on similarity with Samuel Christianity or the debate with William Campbell that Bible and Quran in the light of science.